Hi, welcome to the Egen Solutions YouTube channel where we help make your business social media just a little bit easier. Today, I'm going to show you how to create the Facebook slideshow in Canva. Yes, the Facebook slideshow has been gone from Facebook for uh, well over two years now, but don't worry, we can do the exact same thing in Canva and it's so much easier and we'll even be able to add music and transitions. You're going to love it. Super easy. Let's get going to the desktop. All right, so here we are in the Canva homepage. Now, what we're gonna do today, you can do in the free version, but your experience will be so much better if you have the pro version, simply because you get better audio, better videos to use, stock videos, and just everything is upgraded. But if you just think you're gonna do this as a one-time thing, go ahead, sign up for Canva, and you can have uh, the free version. However, if you would like to try Canva for free for 30 days, I have a link in the description description because we are an affiliate and we also use the program. That's how much we love it. So you can get a chance to use it for 30 days free by clicking our link down below. All right, so let's get going. So here we are and I've already kind of typed in Facebook video. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to the search button in the home screen. You're going to type in Facebook video and hit enter, of course. And it's gonna show you a bunch of, another wonderful thing I love about Canva is they give you a lot of design ideas that you can take and you can customize for yourself. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna create from a blank Facebook video. And this is how we're gonna create that Facebook slideshow, which Facebook took away, and we're gonna have the same experience. So I have already uploaded some pictures that I wanna use in my slideshow. So a little hack that I'm going to tell you now to save yourself a ton of time on this is to get your first slide that we have here to make sure you have everything on it that you want. Meaning if you want a logo, if you want a web, if you want to type in a website address or anything that you want to show on this, you want to make sure your first uh, slide has all that down because it's going to make your life easier and I'll show you how. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my image here and I'm going to click it and drag it over to the square. Now the square is the size for Facebook. If you are using a landscape image and you can see here, it's not really fitting great. Simply take your cursor into the, uh, in, make sure you click on it and then double click and it will give you a way to move this picture around, which makes your life so much easier, right? and then uh, you can click done, and now that image is secure. So the other thing we're gonna do is a couple of things. We're gonna put uh, a logo on this one, and I'm just gonna use the eGen logo. This is a little too big. We're gonna bring that down to size, and I'm gonna put it right about there. And the timing, it's a static photo, so having someone sit here for five seconds and look at it is a little, 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 little too long. I like about 1.5. So we're gonna set that, oops, didn't take 1.5, there we go. Now you can see that the video has changed to a duration of 1.5 seconds. So I have everything on here. I might wanna do a little text to say, Hello, just so you can see what that looks like. We'll move that up here. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And if you want text, that's what it would look like. All right, so we have everything set up the way that we want. We like how it looks. We're gonna come over here to these three dots and we're gonna select duplicate page. So now it's gonna take our text, it's gonna take our logo position, everything is gonna be perfect and the same in all of these slideshow or all of these um, images and that way it's gonna create a consistent feel. So you can uh, also do control D for you that like to do those instead of the clicking and you can keep selecting however many images you want. You can see that they are all the same. So what are we going to do now? Well, now we're going to go back and we're going to put the other images because obviously we have the same ones in there. So I'm going to take these images here. Oops. First of all, we're going to select the second image. Make sure that's highlighted. We're going to click over and drag and we're just going to keep doing that. Thank you. 
Okay, so now we have all our images in there and if we want to change like this one looks a little dark We can come over here and change that to a different font and now we get the hello is a little bit easier for us to see So if you want to make those changes, you of course can now here's the thing we're gonna I'm gonna move myself now that we're done with this and we're gonna preview this so we're gonna click this little play button here you can see that our what we have created is 10.5 seconds long and we can see our hello and our logo is on each of the uh, images which is really great however I still think that's kind of blah so we're gonna spice it up a little bit what we're gonna do is we're gonna add transitions and that's very easy you can see these blank spots in between and when I move my cursor and hover you can see I've got some icons we're gonna come to the first one and we're gonna add a transition oops didn't click that right it's gonna open up this menu and we have a lot of different choices and if we hover you can see that it shows us what each one actually how it will look so you don't have to try each one you can simply hover and you can simply see how each one will look I actually like dissolve so I'm gonna select that that should be good uh, oops and I messed up there. <laughs> so once we have that uh, configured, you're gonna come down here and click this button, apply between all pages. You can see it easily applied that um, addition to all of the images. Now, um, here's what I like. Let's say we decided that um, we wanna go back to that 1.5. So we change it to 1.5 and then we select this button and we want it to apply to all. So now all of our pages are one back to 1.5 seconds. I actually think 1.3 is gonna be good. All right, so moving me around, we're gonna come over here and preview it. Now it's only 9.1 seconds. Let's see how that looks. I like that transition. It's very, very point, very good. So. And how do we add music? Great question. <laughs> You're gonna come over here. Again, we're in the uploads, uh, but you can come to the elements and you can type in different things like, uh, I'm gonna put in techno, techno music maybe. We're gonna come over to audio. Now you can see here that we have this little uh, symbol which means it's a pro version uh, song. So these songs are only available for those that have a subscription with, with us or with them, us, that's not me. Uh, what you can do is come over here and just look under happy because usually there's some free ones in there. Yep, and see, you'll see the ukulele song or you can see that these are free, so you don't have to have a subscription to have it. But let's go back to the uh, techno and I'm gonna put this song in there. So we're gonna click it and simply drag it over. You can see that it fills it in all the way through the whole length of this video, which I love. Just super easy does that. You can add some audio effects, you can adjust it, um, you can do various things. One of the things I will say is that sometimes the music from these can be a little loud, especially when you go to upload it. I like to uh, put things down about half volume just because, but play around with it because I think it depends on how the uh, audio is uploaded. All right, so now that we have the music on there, let's listen and see how that looks. That's kind of cute. <laughs> so there you have it. It's all done. Now we want to share it. So we're going to click the share screen. I'm going to scroll all the way down to download. Select that. And you're going to see most likely if you collect, if you clicked Facebook video at the beginning, this will already be set up for you. But this is an MP4 video, which is what we want, where we can upload that to Facebook or other social sites. Uh, the, the size is 10 by uh, eight, uh, 1080 by 1080. Now you'll see this little pro version here. Again, if you want to have it for a higher uh, resolution or just a little bit of a larger screen, you can go ahead and uh, select that or change that <clears throat> all the way up excuse me but to get to that size and that availability sometimes you'll see a 4k option um, that is only in the pro version so we're going to take this down to the original 
and we want to make sure all of our pages are selected here which they are and we're just simply going to hit download and that's going to download with the image with our music and everything else will be perfect with that so there you go that's how you do the facebook slideshow in 2023 so there you have it, the Facebook slideshow, which has gone from Facebook, but now on Canva. I hope that whole thing helped you out. If it did, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. I will see you again in the next video.